Hi all. In this video, let's learn about one of the coding challenge for the beginners. So in this coding challenge, we are trying to learn about if a given there is an uh, array, we need to move all the zeros to the end of the array. And remaining non-zero elements should maintain its relative order. So let's understand that problem statement. So for example, if you have an input like this, so we have 0, 1, 0, 3, 12 like this. So the output should be like this, 1, 3, 12. And we need to move these zeros to the end of the array. These problems are array transformation problems. This is one of uh, the coding challenge for the beginners, which comes under array transformation. So I will be showing you two approaches to solve this problem. So you got the problem and the relative position should be maintained. Like 1, 3, 12 should be uh, the relative to each other. and the zero should be moved to the end. And the note, we need to note a point here is, we should not make use of another new array. So we should use only one array. With that, we need to make sure this we, need, we are going to achieve. So let's start and uh, I will uh, start write it. So the first approach is, uh, I will take this array and I will delete the zeros in this array. And I will uh, make sure once I delete the zeros, then the array looks like 1, 3, 12. We'll be having like this, okay? And once I will count the arrays, how many zeros are there in this array, I will count. And by, by the end, I will add those zeros, that many zeros. So this is the approach uh, we are going to take. So let's start with that. Hope you understand that. So while uh, coding, I, I think you may still uh, get more clarity on that. So I'm taking a function like array transformation. So here it will receive array as an, uh, it, will, it can, it will take the array as input. So let's start. So as I said, we need to remove the zeros from the array. And for that, we need to have one counter so that we need to add the zeros at the end. So for that, just I'm uh, taking one counter, like count zeros. So I will be taking a variable like count zeros, zero. Now I will be taking a for loop. So in this for loop, I will uh, loop the array. So I'm looping this array once. And here, now I need to check whether the element is zero or not. So for that, I'm taking a uh, variable like this. So now I'm looping, I, I mean, I'm going to each and every element in this array and I'm checking whether the element is item, uh, whether the number is zero or not. So for that, I'm going to do array of i. So it means the first element I will be getting. So I'm checking that with zero. So if the first element is equal to zero, this is zero will be having true value. So in case, uh, it means we, that element is zero. So now, if the element is zero, we are checking each and every element, whether it is equal to zero or not. If it is equal to zero, we'll be getting true under is zero. So if that is zero, what we have thought, uh, we need to remove the zeros and we need to increment the counter because at the end, we are going to add that many number of zeros to the array. So for that, we need to increment the counter first. So I'm incrementing the counter because we got a zero at uh, some one position in the array. So next, what we are going to do, we need, we thought of removing that element. We'll remove that zero at that position. In since we need to use splice operator for that, I, the start position and one. It means it will remove that uh, position value. So splice uh, takes two parameters here. I is a start position and second parameter would be the uh, which position should be deleted. Yep. So in this case, it will delete how many in numbers to be deleted. So we, we kept one. So at that position, it will remove the zero. So later here, I'm decrementing the I value because now at first position, it will loop and now we got zero. So we have incremented the counter variable. Okay. And we have deleted this zero. Fine. So now we need to come with for second element. So the second element would now would become the first element in the array because we have removed the second zero. Now the one becomes a first element. Now, if we not decrement this, it will loop here. I plus plus and it will go to the second element. It will go from here. So that's the reason we need to decrement I here. 
such that I am decrementing i and incrementing i. So it will come to the first uh, index again. Now the index would be zero, and I am making that index as minus one here because here it here I, if I increment it, it will go to plus one. I mean zero, and it will go to the first element again because we have removed the zero here. So hope you understand this loop. Yep. So next here, what happens? We'll be getting the counter value, and we have removed all the zeros. So now at this point, if you if you print the array at this point, now we'll be getting. So I will uh, just console this array. So now if you console this array at this point, we'll be getting an array without zeros, like one, three, twelve. We'll be getting an array like this once after this code was executed. So now what we we need to do? So in this count zero, we'll be having two as a value because we got two zeros in the array. Now we need to add, as we discussed, we need to add these two zeros at the end. So again, I'm taking a for loop. Sorry, let i. Again, I'm taking one for loop, and uh, i is less than the count of zero. I plus plus. So till this count, I will be adding array dot push zero. So here the count of zero would be two. So we are adding two zeros at the end of the array. So now let's uh, return back the array. So now at this point we'll be having one three twelve. So after we have pushing these two array two two zeros at the end. The result would be one three twelve zero zero. It would be we would be getting this output. So let's check that. So we'll uh, remove these consoles. Yeah, you can uh, see the output here. Let me show you. Yep, I will run this once. Yep. You can see the before the array one three two. I mean before the array it would be showing as one three two. Okay, I think it was a. Uh, it is taking that number as well. Okay, before the transformation of the transformation as we have modified it, it is showing that. Okay, fine. So if you observe, uh, it was modified to one three two zero zero. So in case if you uh, check remaining cases as well. So in this case we are not giving any zeros. Even then, we'll be getting the same output. If you observe, we'll be getting the same output: three, one, two, three. If in case we give the zeros at the end itself, so even though we'll get the same output. So in uh, I'm just showing the different edge cases to understand. So this is a first approach. So let's try with the second approach. So uh, let me comment out this entire thing, and uh, we'll be showing you the second approach. So this would be the same like uh, the first approach, but here the thing is uh, we'll be using only one for loop, not the two for loops. We'll be using only one for loop here. So let me show you that. So for that we we will be adding one more condition. That's it. So here we'll be using only one for loop. Like uh, I'm using i, I'm i less than array dot length, i plus plus. So now, in this, we are going to write like a number. So the same logic, whatever we have thought earlier, like uh, we are going to remove the zeros first, and uh, we'll uh, add those zeros at the end of the array. We'll count how many zeros are removed. But here we are, we'll be not counting with the counter variable. We'll be counting that with the conditional. So let's check that. So here we can avoid the counter variable. In the second approach, uh, many lines and many variables would be removed. So we no need the counter variable to increment, decrement, and all these logic would not be there in the second approach. Let's see that. So first we are going to search whether the first element is zero or not. Okay. So if it is zero, what we are going to do? As per our logic, we'll be removing that zero. So let's check. We'll be splice. We'll use splice and we'll remove that zero. Okay, fine. If if once we remove that zero, what we need to do, as on when we are removing that, 
here we are adding that we are pushing at zero at the end so with this solution you no need to use a counter variable or additional for loop as well so directly a one line one line uh, uh, solution for this so let's see that i'm returning the array back let's see yeah so yeah we got the same result 131200 so you can go with the two approaches in the first approach it would be like an uh, uh, whatever we have discussed in that points would be like an algorithm way we are going to take a counter we are going to increment that counter and we are adding that counter in the separate for loop so here we have used two for loops with additional counter variable and uh, also there is uh, decrementing the index as well so this is a uh, one approach and the second approach this is a one line solution where the approach would be the same we are trying to find the zeros or there or not and we are deleting that zero and we are adding that zero at the end so these are the two approaches to solve this array transformation problem hope you understand the video thanks for watching if you have any of the questions or clarifications needed please comment those questions under the video i will pick that and i will try to make a video as soon as possible please subscribe for the more videos thanks for